average Haitian, our team lives like kings. The prominent family that runs the compound and sponsors the medical clinic also feeds us hot meals of rice and beans each day. The clinic work was exhausting, but unbelievably fulfilling. I was working in triage with 25 to 30 patients. We made a game of it while they waited. They taught me Creole and I taught them English through my interpreter. It was good to see them laugh at my clumsy attempts to speak their language. Yesterday, I saw a young man and a little girl. They were picking their way through a filthy sidewalk that had not yet been cleared of disaster rubble. The little girl pointed, and the man smiled and said something to her. I imagine she was admiring the beauty of the sun, shining through the palms, and glinting off the bay. In the heart of so much suffering and absolute raw horror, these people love each other. They are not worried about petty concerns like the next promotion, who is not speaking to whom. They get it. They get it like I and so many other Americans have it. It occurs to me that I should prepare you all to expect that we will not return as the same people you knew. I know this will change me for the better, and I suspect it will have the same effect on my team that I've grown so close to.